So you're reviewing this outdoor step handrail. Now, as you can see here, I have a step that it's actually sitting on, and it's definitely a much bigger uh, step than you would traditionally have. For me, it's not really that big of a deal, but I do have some people who help me out here around the farm, and so having a handrail like this will work out really nicely for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna open it up, show you exactly what you get inside, and then show you what that install process is gonna look like. So this is everything that is inside of the box that this brand sent to me. So you're going to get the handrail itself, which is all one solid piece. So that's nice. No assembly required there. Then it's come, going to come with the screws, going to come with these wall anchors as well. Now, if you're actually using this as a handrail, which I am going to here in the barn, I would not recommend using these wall anchors. You're going to want to make sure that you are into studs. The screws that it comes with, with are also not going to be with a drill. You're going to want to install them. Um, with they'll need a different head. It's not like it's a Phillips or anything like that. So I'm actually going to use my ratchets to go ahead and install this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to actually install. I'm not sure the exact height of this here, probably something like that. And then it'll be super easy for them to grab onto when they're going up or down this little stair right here. That's probably, oh, it's probably a foot and a half off the ground on this side or so. so that's where I'm going to install it. So I'm gonna grab my ratchets and go ahead and get started with the installation process. Now, one thing I did wanna mention before the install is that it does come with this little tiny level. However, it's not square and I have no idea how you would even use this. It's just a round level. So it's not really usable at all. It does come with that, so that's okay. But you're gonna probably want an actual level assuming you're installing this um, somewhere where you care if it's exactly level or not. In this case, like since it's round, it's really small not going to be able to really use it very much to see if something's very level or not and there's not really any place on the bracket or on the handrail itself where something like this would work either so if they included like a magnetic one or something that would be a lot better but this little round one is pretty much worthless truthfully now these screws are going to be 10 millimeters i actually found a bit here for my drill so that will make it considerably easier if you are doing your scissors yourself i would recommend getting one in or even putting a nail in it first That'll allow you to actually install it a lot easier than trying to put in these screws first, but you can just put a nail in here at the top, hold it in place, and then you can go ahead and get started with the screwing it in. I have to get the first one in, then I would recommend going down here, of course, making sure it's level, and then putting one in the bottom, and then filling in. There are gonna be three screws in each side. Now this is going to actually come with a drill bit as well as a little tiny wrench that you could use for those screws, but I'm going to recommend you actually get a 10 millimeter bit if you have like a cordless drill, or you're going to want to get a 10 millimeter socket. There is no way that you would actually be able to install it just by using this. So now I have all six of these in. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull on it and put some pressure on it. Let's see how well it holds up. So again, I've got this right by the step here in my barn. I'm gonna start off by putting all of my weight on it to see how well that it holds. And as you can see, it is not moving at all. None of the screws are pulling. Of course, they are into solid wood, so that definitely helps. Now I'm gonna try pulling up on it. And again, not moving at all because you've got all of these screws in. So definitely plenty solid, assuming you're going into actual wood. I would not recommend installing this if you're gonna try and go into something that needs anchors. If you're gonna go into like a concrete or something, I would recommend getting concrete lag bolts or anchors if you're going into brick, concrete, something like that. If you're going into wood, you will wanna make sure that you go into an actual solid piece of wood. Don't just go into a piece of one by something like that as people are gonna be putting their full weight on this. Now I'm gonna grab a tape measure, give you the exact dimensions on this as well. So you can see exactly the height of it and then how long it is coming out away as well. So I got my tape measure here. So the actual base plate on this is gonna be about 12 inches from top to bottom. And then the width on this base plate is gonna be about three inches. Now height on the handle itself or on the grab bar at the skinny part here is gonna be about seven and a half inches. And then length out, so from here to the edge there, is going to be about 22 and a half to 23. Let me go to the rounded part. Yeah, going to be about 22 and three quarters, 
22 and 7 8 actual is going to be the length out so this is a great pull bar i again i would recommend that if whatever you're putting it into that you get it into solid wood so if you're going into siding make sure that you've got some solid studs behind it don't just go into plywood with this since people are going to be putting their weight onto it i would recommend that you go into something solid like i have here in my barn 